have you ever wondered how ancient wisdom could make anyone fall in love with you? Imagine tapping into a secret that has influenced hearts and minds for over two millennia. Welcome to a journey where the old meets the new in the most fascinating way. Today, we're diving into the art of making anyone fall for you using strategies grounded not just in psychology, but in the timeless principles of Stoicism. Think of it as using a historical blueprint to navigate modern relationships. Reverse psychology isn't just a plot twist in your favorite drama. It's a real life strategy that plays on the human desire to remain autonomous and free. When blended with Stoicism, a philosophy that teaches the importance of emotional resilience and control, it becomes a powerful tool in shaping not only our actions, but also those of others around us. In this video, we'll explore seven intriguing reverse psychology tricks that draw from the deep wells of Stoic wisdom, from fostering independence to the strategic use of silence. Each trick has its roots in the age, old philosophy that teaches us how to turn every interaction to our advantage. Stay tuned as we unfold these secrets one by one. Script segment for trick one. Display emotional independence. In our first trick, we delve into the art of displaying emotional independence. The goal here is simple yet profound to show that you are self-sufficient and not in desperate search of affection. This isn't about playing hard to get. It's about genuinely being at ease with yourself and your current life situation, which in turn makes you more attractive and appealing to others. Why does this work? When you radiate self-contentment, you naturally draw people towards you. They see someone who is complete on their own and that is inherently intriguing. Think about it. Nobody is drawn to desperation. People are attracted to those who appear to have a full, vibrant life because it promises a relationship that can add to their happiness, not one that demands they fill a void. Now, let's tie this into Stoicism. Stoic philosophy teaches the practice of self-control and emphasizes not being overly swayed by external events or opinions. The Stoics believed in focusing on what one can control, primarily one's own responses and feelings. By cultivating an aura of emotional independence, you are essentially practicing Stoic self-control. You aren't allowing your happiness to be dictated by whether or not someone else gives you attention or affection. This not only improves your emotional resilience, but also makes your social interactions more genuine and powerful. Embrace this trick as a step toward personal growth and watch how it changes the dynamics of your relationships making you a beacon of strength and stability in the eyes of others. Script segment for trick two, endorse freedom. Our second trick in the playbook is about endorsing freedom, a key element in any strong relationship. Here's the twist. By using reverse psychology and actively advocating for the other person's freedom and independence, you reduce the psychological pressure that can often smother potential sparks. It might seem counterintuitive, but in giving others the space they need, you become more attractive. How does this work? By emphasizing that you respect their independence, you're signaling that you're not just looking for someone to complete you or to cling to. This positions you as confident and secure in yourself. When people feel free, they are more likely to act genuinely and open up, which can strengthen the connection between you two. Now, let's connect this to Stoicism. Stoicism teaches the value of inner freedom and detachment from external desires and pressures. By embracing and promoting the concept of freedom, you align yourself with Stoic ideals. Stoics strive to maintain control over their own internal states 
advocating for a life that is less affected by external circumstances and more driven by personal virtue and rationality. By applying this stoic principle in your relationships, you encourage a healthy dynamic where both parties feel valued and empowered rather than restricted or pressured. This not only makes the relationship more sustainable, but also deeply rooted in mutual respect and understanding. Script segment for trick three, highlight imperfection. Moving on to our third trick, highlighting your own imperfections. It may seem unconventional, but acknowledging your flaws can actually enhance how others perceive you. By subtly pointing out your own imperfections, you present yourself as more relatable and trustworthy. This vulnerability invites a closer connection as it shows you are human and not trying to project a facade of perfection. Why does this approach resonate so deeply? When you're open about your shortcomings, it disarms those around you, breaking down the barriers that pretense can create. It encourages others to share their own vulnerabilities, fostering a deeper, more meaningful engagement. This openness can be incredibly refreshing in a world where everyone is constantly curating their best selves online. Connecting this to Stoicism. The Stoics taught the importance of accepting and embracing one's flaws as part of human nature. They believed that understanding and acknowledging our limitations is key to personal growth and self-improvement. By integrating this Stoic wisdom into your interactions, you're not only being honest about who you are, but also inviting others to accept their true selves. This technique not only makes you more approachable, but also builds a foundation of trust and authenticity in your relationships, qualities that are priceless in forming lasting connections. Script segment for trick four, the power of silence. Our fourth trick explores a tool that is often underestimated, the power of silence. In conversations, silence isn't just a lack of words. It's a profound communication tool that can dramatically deepen a connection. When you strategically allow gaps in the conversation, you give the other person space to think and respond at a more personal level. This can lead to greater self-disclosure and intimacy, as they may feel invited to share more about themselves than they might in a rapid-fire exchange of words. Why does this tactic work so well? Silence can be magnetic. It draws people in and gives them the floor, showing that you value their thoughts and feelings. This not only makes them feel respected, but also increases their comfort level, encouraging them to open up more than they otherwise would. Connecting this to Stoicism, the philosophy teaches the importance of being thoughtful and measured in one speech. Stoics value the quality over the quantity of words, believing that effective communication should be intentional and reflective. By practicing strategic silence, you embody this stoic principle, demonstrating that you are listening deeply and are truly present in the conversation. Embracing silence in this way not only enhances communication, but also builds trust and rapport, making every interaction more meaningful and impactful. Script segment for trick five, suggest challenges. Let's dive into our fifth trick, suggesting challenges. This technique involves proposing small challenges or light adversities that you and the other person can tackle together. The idea here is not to create stress, but to foster a sense of teamwork and camaraderie that naturally strengthens bonds. Whether it's a puzzle, a physical activity, or a creative project, facing a challenge together can accelerate intimacy and trust. Why is this approach effective? When you overcome obstacles with someone, it creates a shared sense of achievement and satisfaction. This not only makes memorable experiences, 
but also builds a foundation where mutual support and understanding are key. It's about showing that you can work well together, which is an attractive trait in any relationship. From a stoic perspective, facing and overcoming difficulties is a crucial part of personal and relational growth. Stoicism teaches that adversity is a tool for strengthening character and forging resilience. By embracing challenges, you live out this philosophy, showing that you value growth and perseverance. This approach aligns with the Stoic belief that true progress in life comes from conquering obstacles, both big and small. Incorporating this trick into your interactions demonstrates that you are someone who is not only fun to be around, but also capable of leading and supporting in times of need. This can make your relationships more dynamic and fulfilling, resonating deeply with the stoic ideal of enduring partnerships built on mutual respect and strength. Script segment for Trick 6. Showcase self-improvement. Now, let's explore our sixth trick, showcasing self-improvement. This is about letting others see your commitment to personal growth. It's not just about telling them what you're doing to better yourself, but also showing them through actions, whether it's learning a new skill, improving your fitness, or engaging in intellectual pursuits. Making visible changes in your life can spark admiration and interest from those around you. Why is this technique so powerful? When people notice that you are dedicated to self-improvement, they see someone who is proactive, motivated, and willing to challenge themselves. This can be incredibly attractive. It signals that you are someone who is not stagnant but is evolving which suggests that being in a relationship with you would also mean being around dynamic and stimulating energy. By integrating this practice into your life and sharing it, you not only enhance your own life, but also potentially inspire others to pursue their own paths of growth. This shared commitment to improvement can deepen connections, making relationships more meaningful and aligned with the pursuit of a good life, as envisioned by Stoic philosophy. Script segment for Trick 7. Express genuine appreciation. Our final trick in this series is about expressing genuine appreciation. This technique is rooted in the simple yet profound power of acknowledging and valuing the qualities and efforts of others. By offering sincere compliments and expressing gratitude, you create positive associations and reinforce the behaviors you admire. This not only enhances the mood of the interaction, but also deepens the bond between you and the other person. Why is genuine appreciation so impactful? When you express gratitude or compliment someone honestly, it signals that you are attentive and value their unique traits or contributions. This recognition is incredibly affirming and can strengthen relationships by making the other person feel seen and appreciated. It's about fostering a positive feedback loop that encourages more heartfelt and supportive interactions. Connecting this to Stoicism, the philosophy highly values gratitude as a means to enrich human connections and foster contentment. Stoics advocate for recognizing and appreciating what we have and the people around us, focusing on the abundance rather than what's lacking. They believe that gratitude is essential for a peaceful and fulfilling life as it shifts our focus from desires and aversions to acceptance and appreciation. I encourage each of you to practice these techniques thoughtfully and ethically. Remember, the goal is to enhance your relationships and personal well-being, not to manipulate others. I'd love to hear how you apply these stoic principles in your relationships 
or any experiences you've had with reverse psychology. Please share your stories in the comments below. Let's learn from each other and grow together. Thank you so much for joining me in this deep dive into the art of influence and stoic wisdom. If you found these insights helpful, please give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more content on psychological strategies and stoic philosophy. Your support helps us bring more enriching content like this to you. Until next time, keep practicing these techniques and watch how they transform your interactions and relationships. Thank you for watching and take care.